I get to the last pressure plate, <sighs> I should be able to lock you in forever and be done with you. I get to that last pressure plate in time. Ah! I get to that last pressure plate in time. I should be able to lock you in. If I get to that last pressure plate in time, I should be able to lock you in forever and be done with you. I get to that last pressure plate in time. Mm. I should be able to lock you in forever and be done with you. Ah. I get to that last pressure mm. plate in time. If I get to that last pressure plate mm. in time, I should be able to lock you in. Ah. If I get to that last pressure mm. plate in time, I should be able to lock you in forever. Ah. If I get to that last pressure plate. I get to that last pressure plate in time. Mm. I should be able to lock you in forever and be done with you. Oof! 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 Oof!
Onto the center, and I'll release the rock giants. Ah! Ah! Uh. Uh. 
Lima. You're outnumbered now. My men have joined me. You'll never make it through these deadly chambers. Turn back while you can. I cannot. Why do you persist? I cannot return to Razarus without satisfying justice for what you have done. What I have done? It is Razarus that started the war. We have reached a dead end. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. Well, okay. Let's open the doors for each other now. But this does not mean I will not continue to hunt you down. This has all become rather personal. As if it were I, rather than you Razaran Philistines, who started all this. Do not play innocent with me. I know it is you who killed our king. What? But that is not true. Liar. You will pay. Oh! 
Ooh. We have reached a dead end. Perhaps we can... not you. Who did I see kill our king? It is as I feared. Dark forces are at play. Someone has set us up. I do not know why, but perhaps our mutual destruction is beneficial to someone. Maybe the war was even planned mutually within our own... not you. Who did I see kill our king? It is as I feared. Dark forces are at play. Someone has set us up. I do not know why, but perhaps our mutual destruction is beneficial to someone. Maybe the war was even planned mutually within our own government. did not seem right that we should go to war, but my mind has been clouded by rage. I'm starting to believe that we have been used as pawns in a larger game. Agreed.
last. So, if it was not you, who did I see kill our king? It is as I feared. Dark forces are at play. Someone has set us up. I do not know why, but... Ah, Budkin. At last you have made a sensible decision. You may have done more harm than good, but I thought we should give you a chance to redeem yourself and to start setting things right. What do you mean? There are many things I cannot tell you. Return to the court and tell the Razoran people what you have learned here. You bet I will. But who are you? Are you the guy who's in charge of these golems? Why yes, dumb beasts, but they serve their purpose well enough. As for who I am, I was given the name Sixth Patron. For whatever that is worth, surface dweller. I've no more to say. Go now. immediately to the Razoran court with the news about the war. <gasps> Servant of the court, what news have you of the war in Twaino? It is ended, sir. An army of rock golems forced both sides into surrender. I see. And is the villainous Twainan assassin now dead? No, sir. He lives. I am convinced it wasn't the Twainan captain who murdered the king. I think Twaino was framed. Ludicrous. Who would do such a thing? I'm not sure. I am convinced he was telling the truth. <sighs> Sometimes there are more important things than truth, Gunthrow. We've invested much in this war with Twainel. It is not ideal to have it come to such an abrupt end. Surely truth should guide our actions, sir. If you are truly a hero of Razorus, you will speak as the court wills. And if you are not an enemy of Razorus, you will at least keep silent of what you know. Hang on. You know more about the king's death than you let on. Almost as if it were convenient for the court. What? How dare you make these accusations? We had thought you a hero. But not only have you lost us the war, you failed to pass sentence on the evil twain and captain. We cannot let treasonous thoughts go unpunished. <sighs> However, you do have powerful friends, and we cannot deny your service to Rosarus. On balance, Gunthrow, we shall let you go free. But we cannot risk the chaos that might occur should you start spreading your unfounded allegations. You are henceforth exiled from Razorus. We will order you to be transported to the land of Afelna at once. They are a simple people. I'd suggest hiding out somewhere in the middle of nowhere, like, oh, hmm, like Dugandy. Hmm. You are most kind, sir. Go now, Gunthrow. <laughs> Let's go, Gunthrow. I'll take you to the main part. What happened next? Well, that's about it. What do you mean? Gunthrow set sail for Afelna and settled here in Dugandy. Aww, I want to see hear more about the roaches. Nah, you've seen one roach, you've seen them all. Myself. I wish I knew more about those shady characters old Gunthrow ran into. Old Gunthrow seemed to have uncovered something big, but he never told me more. While I was doing my last job, clearing King Dugan's dungeon, I saw some mighty strange things too. 
I'll tell you about it sometime. I'd like to investigate further. I want to come. Sure, sure. Just ask your mother for permission first. Can we see some goblins? Nah. Goblins are nasty. Gunthrow never did like them, say. Want to hear about this new Roachburger recipe I came up with? Uh, I think we need to go to bed early today. Or wash some dishes or something. See you later, Uncle B. Pro. Remember to be home before dark. Avoid goblins peddling wooden lampshades.
Thank you. 